Hey, what's going on everyone? Monado Max here, and today we're going to be talking about the fact that Red Dead Redemption has finally come to the Nintendo Switch. If you would have told me that Red Dead Redemption is coming to the Nintendo Switch, I would have laughed at you, only due to the fact that Rockstar Games has probably some of the weirdest history when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, because one, their other company, 2K, loves the Switch. <laughs> There's so many 2K games on the Switch, and uh, when the Switch had just come out in 2017, later that year we got the LA Noir Switch port announced for the system. And that was a really good Switch port. Everyone was talking about how great it was on the Switch, and people thought that this meant we were going to be soon getting GTA onto the Nintendo Switch. Nothing came about it though. We didn't get another Nintendo Switch game from Rockstar Games until 2021 with the GTA Trilogy which was absolutely horrible on the Switch and every other platform out there. It was a horrible remaster. And now we're here in 2023 with another Rockstar game, Red Dead Redemption. Now there's a lot of good to talk about with Red Dead Redemption on the Switch, but there's some bad that I want to bring up and th there's some things that we just have to talk about with the Switch port. So I want to give you guys a review on how I'm feeling about Red Dead Redemption on the Nintendo Switch. Well, Red Dead Redemption runs amazing on the Nintendo Switch. This should be no shocker since it is a Xbox 360 game on the Nintendo Switch, but there was a lot of doubt that people was thinking that if Red Dead could get on the Switch or not, just due to the fact with Rockstar's history recently when it comes to bringing older games to today's consoles. Now, Red Dead Redemption also launched on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, uh, along with the Switch version, and it was already out on the Xbox One and Series X due to backwards compatibility, which I do want to touch on later in this video because this is very weird, extremely weird, but let's go ahead and talk about the resolution and frame rate because I know everyone's very curious about that. This thing is at a locked 30 frames per second, which, you know, I mean, it would be nice if it could do 60 frames. I don't know if it was able to run 60 frames on the Switch, because it's not 60 frames on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So the resolution's also the same thing. Resolution's 1080p on the Nintendo Switch. In docked mode, it's 720p. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed on that, at least when it comes to handheld mode. I, I don't know. I just figured that they wouldn't be able to pull that off. It would have been some sort of weird resolution. But they managed to pull it off. And Red Dead Redemption, the fact that it's on the Switch... It's actually really cool that it's on the Switch. It's just annoying that we're getting it so late into the Nintendo Switch cycle. This should have been a game that came out 2017, 2018. This was actually one of my most wanted Nintendo Switch games when the system was coming out. You know, it, the weird thing is, I thought we might have one day would have gotten Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Switch. I know everyone's going to be like, whoa, what do you mean, Max? Uh, when the Nintendo NX, when it was called the Nintendo NX, because if you guys don't know, the Switch's code name was NX. The grand reveal for it to be the Nintendo Switch, the same day that we were getting the grand reveal of the NX was the same day that we got the grand reveal of Red Dead Redemption 2. So I was like, hold up, are we getting Red Dead Redemption 2 on the next Nintendo console? Why would they be doing all of this in the same day? So there was that theory of mine for a little bit that we were going to get it on the Switch until I realized once the system came out, we are not getting that on the Switch anytime soon. Although the Switch has still done amazing things to this day when it comes to third-party games coming to the Switch. So, it's great to have this on the Switch. It's just annoying that Rockstar Games is starting to care about the Switch right when we're pretty much towards the end Switch cycle. We don't know when the system is ending, but let's be real, the Switch probably has at least till the end of 2024 or early 2025 is when we're getting the next Nintendo console. By the way, Rockstar, I don't know why you decided to put the physical copy of this game to come out two months later. Uh, I had to buy Red Dead digitally for $50, which we're about to get into the price tag momentarily, but I had to buy it digitally today. I hate buying digital games, especially when I know a physical copy is coming out, so I'm going to have to double dip. I wanted to get this video out because the Red Dead Redemption games are very special. The Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Let's get into the price tag, the $50 price tag. This is extremely controversial. Uh, obviously, if you're used to paying Switch games day one, you're used to that $50, $60 price tag. But let's be real here. Uh, there is not much done to this port. Um, it's running on the Switch, but th this goes for the PlayStation versions also. 
Rockstar literally did nothing except up the resolution and make the controls usable for today's consoles. This was a very copy and paste. They basically did what we do with Monado Max Shorts, which is take some of the clips that I talk about in videos and make it into a short. They really did nothing here with the Nintendo Switch port and PlayStation port of Red Dead Redemption. They're not even calling it Red Dead Redemption Remastered. So it really does not justify a $50 price tag, especially with what I'm about to tell you, which is super confusing to me. I, I, I'm not a game developer, but this is very confusing to me. So make this make sense. Please, if you guys in the comments know anything about this, I, I, I don't understand this. So the sole purpose that I bought an Xbox Series X was actually to play Red Dead Redemption 1 because I loved 2 so much. So I got an Xbox Series X because the Series X has a feature with the backwards compatible games. Uh, if the developer wants to update their games, they can make their games 60 frames per second, the uh, 360 versions of those games. And Red Dead Redemption was one of those games that got the 60 frames per second update. How is it that the Series X has a 60 frames per second version of this game, but the PlayStation 5 doesn't? It the PS4 version. I think the Switch, with it being a 360 game, Xbox 360, especially considering that they did nothing new, they didn't really up the graphics or anything, they literally just took the Xbox 360 version, made the resolution better, and boom, put that on the Switch. They took the multiplayer out, and then boom, put that on the Switch and PlayStation. I feel like this game could have ran 60 frames per second on Switch. I don't understand what went wrong here. <laughs> and the weirdest thing, with the Xbox version being the best version to play, the Xbox version is cheaper! <laughs> I don't know how you justify this. I don't know what Rockstar has done. It's $30 uh, if you want to buy it brand new. Uh, if you find it used and stuff, it's like under 20 But a new copy of Red Dead Redemption for the Xbox One and Series X, all those platforms, $30. I, I don't understand what, 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 what? How do you, how do you, what, what? I love Red Dead Redemption. I'm so happy that this is on Nintendo Switch. I bought it for $50 because I wanted to do a video and I'm going to buy the physical copy. I'm not going to buy it day one because I'm going to wait for a price drop because hopefully it gets a price drop. But it is very confusing this price that they launched with. And I know people are going to be like, oh, it's the Switch tax. If you guys don't know what the Switch tax term is, whenever a game gets ported on the Switch, Switch's version's usually more expensive. The Switch version is the same exact price as the PS4 and PS5 version. And they didn't release this new Red Dead Redemption re-release on Xbox because they have the backwards compatible version. So I'm very confused with the decisions that they made here. Um, it's not worth $50. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 1 is such an amazing game. If you've never experienced Red Dead Redemption before, and you don't own a Xbox in any, in any shape or form, then yes, this is worth the $50, because Red Dead Redemption is such a good game, man. Red Dead, it's a phenomenal game. But if you're somebody that owns an Xbox, I'm sorry, but it I'm a Nintendo Switch guy. I mean, I'm obviously a Nintendo Switch guy. I think I'm going to have to recommend the Xbox version of this game. Just due to the fact that, one, you can get it for under 20. Second, it's more of an actual remaster at this point, rather than what we just got on Switch and PlayStation. And 60 frames per second? pretty cool i mean I, I think the switch could have ran that though but other than that the switch version i had no frame rate drops the game was running amazing on switch it looked beautiful on the switch but it's the same game on xbox or uh, playstation 4 playstation 5 it, it it's really hard to justify that if you're somebody that really cares about that type of stuff in terms of a 50 dollars re-release now if red dead redemption would go down to like 20 30 on switch that's the way to play it, just due to the fact that it's portability. It's really cool being able to have Red Dead Redemption on the go, considering what that game is. The game is so good, guys. I'm telling you, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. My only honest problem with this version of the game is the price tag. The price tag, it's expensive. 
but I'm glad it is on Nintendo Switch. I hope this opens the door to Rockstar Games putting more of their games on the Switch because they have so many good games. Like the one I'm really wanting, Bully. I would love to have Bully on the Switch. I'll pay $50 for Bully. You know what? I'll just be honest. I'll, I'll pay $50 for Bully. Bully is such a good game, guys. Red Dead Redemption is amazing on the Nintendo Switch. It has one giant issue that is just... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. But I'm still very happy it's on the Switch because I bought it and I'm replaying Red Dead Redemption again on my Switch. It, it's so cool being able to play that. Uh, it, it's just... I'm just glad they're not promoting it as a remastered version. It also comes with the Undead Nightmare, which I just am now starting to play. Never played that before. That is a really interesting mode. Wow. I Really cool, actually. <laughs> really cool mode. Uh, I, I would highly recommend waiting for the physical copy of this game, though. Uh, just due to the fact that it looks like it's going to all be on the cartridge from what we're seeing. Uh, this was 12 gigabytes on the Switch that I had to download. And if you get this game physically, uh, it looks like, at least from what we're seeing, it's all going to be on the cartridge. It's not going to take up much space. Basically, in terms of scaling it 1 to 10, so the game the game is a 10 out of 10. The Red Dead Redemption 1 is such a good game. But we got to look at it from a port perspective. So don't get mad at me at my rating for this. Uh, the game is a 10 out of 10, but we're looking at this, we're not we're not looking at the game like that. We're looking at the port. How does the game run? All that stuff. I think Rockstar could have done a way better job. And this has nothing to do with the Switch's hardware. I know people are going to be like, oh, the Switch is weak. No, this has nothing to do with the Switch hardware. This was Rockstar Games being extremely lazy. So from a port perspective, resolution perspective, everything that we've talked about today, I think I have to give the Switch port, and then this is just the port in general, because the Switch port is exactly the same as the PlayStation port. So let, let's get that straight here, in case people are like, oh, the, the, the PlayStation, yeah, it's, it's exactly the same. I have to give it a 5 out of 10. <laughs> it, it's hard to, it's the $50, not much has been done here. They're taking out one of the big things, which is the multiplayer. But, I mean, it's on the Switch, so it's cool that it's on the Switch. It's just, uh, I hope I'm making sense here. It's just, I, I don't know how to justify $50 when it's not a true remaster. It, it's literally, they just, they did a Mononymax tactic of taking one of my videos and making it into a short, copy-paste, easy video out the door. That That's basically what they did with this. So, if you haven't played it, if the Switch is your only console, then go ahead, yeah, go buy it. Uh, but if you're looking at it from, like, oh, I waited this long, it's gotta be today's graphics. No, it's not that. I'm actually surprised that they didn't even do a remake of this game. Uh, there were so many rumors that they thought they were doing a remake. Uh, I, I think that was the plan, uh, but then the GDA trilogy did so bad, um, was not responded very well, the response was horrible. I think they just scrapped that plan and just this because it's very confusing why Rockstar didn't just do this years ago because people have been asking for these games to come on PlayStation and Switch so it's so weird I want to know what you guys are thinking I have been talking for way too much do you think that it's worth the $50 do you think it's a weird game to come out it's weird because there's just nothing done to it I don't know it's just weird to me that the backwards compatible Xbox version is better it's cheaper, and you could get it $30 new. It's weird to me. Very weird. I bet you on, I don't know if it's sold on the Xbox store, but you probably get it cheaper than these new remastered, remastered, I don't, they're not even calling it remastered. I don't know. I'm talking too much. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I, I really do want to know if uh, I'm being a little too harsh here, or if I'm being reasonable. Um, it's a really good game. It's just... Like I said, 5 out of 10. Nothing was done to it. Nothing was done. It was just brought to today's consoles with better resolution. That's all they did. That's all they did. Make sure to backslash that subscribe button. We're so close to 10,000. We're like less than 500 away. And uh, make sure to check out the Twitch, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff in the description below. I am probably moving my streams to YouTube, and we'll get into that in another video. But I want you guys to know that. I will see you guys in the next video. Have yourselves an amazing, wonderful day. Peace.